Hello you beautiful people and welcome to today's video. So today I have a quick um, sketchbook spread for you and um, yeah I, I couldn't manage to film something on the weekend so I thought I do something during the week and um, this is this and um, yeah here you see me drawing in my sketchbook i tried out a new camera angle but like it didn't work out as planned because i maybe <laughs> because i'm right-handed um should have positioned the camera on the other side because a lot of times my hand is a bit in the way and it's a it bothers me very much so <laughs> yeah but it was an experiment and i didn't want to scrap the um actual video footage um, yeah, first off, the first sketch is um, Leslie and Finnegan, who are the characters who the new chapter that I'm going to finish very soon um, of my webcomic revolves around. And um, yeah, I really like those two. I really like those two. Um, I'm very excited for them to appear in the comic. Um, if you don't know my comic, it's called The Patchwork and it's about a vampire single dad. <laughs> he's not, it's not his own children he's um, taking care about, taking care about, uh, taking care of. Um, he cares for his nephew um, Todd, who's obviously the son of his um, sister and her, his sister and um, her husband are not alive anymore so he takes care of Todd, his nephew, and um, he also adopted a girl named Jane, who's from another dimension and stranded in his world. And Finnegan is a supporting character. He's a leprechaun who works um, in sales tacos that are green. <laughs> Very fitting, I know, I know. Um, but that's just his uh, side hustle. His real job is something else. But yeah, so um, I drew these two cuddling because, you know, things happen in the comic. You have to read it <laughs> if you want to know more. I don't want to um, spoil more than an that I already um, have spoiled. <laughs> and yeah, um, this sketchbook is the um, Clairefontaine is it Clairefontaine? Oh my god, I'm I'm so confused. Uh, paint on a sketchbook, and um, yeah, it is <laughs> the paint on sketchbook with a paint on paper that has a little bit of grain, and yeah, um, I really like this paper. It takes a lot of mediums that I that I use very well, and I I really like that. And I mostly use um, the Faber-Castell Black Edition color pencils for this sketchbook spread and also some cheap um, water-based markers, as you can see here, um, with the background, with the yellow background and also the font I'm gonna put there. And yeah, I like doing sketchbook spreads just with color pencils sometimes and a bit of additional Oh yeah, here's a little fitting and chibi I'm going to draw. Very nice. Um, I really like just using color pencils because it because the, the, I don't I cannot talk. I I have a whole work day behind me right now, and I'm I'm tired. I'm very tired, and so is my brain and my mouth and my my speaking um, instruments. <laughs> And um, yeah, color pencils are a very fast way to fill a page and have a little bit of a victory moment and um, make it colorful and just, just be finished and have some nice colorful drawings. And um, I really like doing it. I haven't done it in a long time because colored pencils can be very hard on the wrist. And um, I tried to avoid that, but like I'm back into the groove. I, <laughs> I really like um, using color pencils right now, especially the black edition because they're so soft. Um, the only downside to these pencils is that um, they break very easily because the lead is, is that soft. It's just really, really friggin soft. And you have to be careful. Not every sharpener works with those, but I really like them and I really like the colors. I also use some um, other pencils that my wife got me. They are double sided and they are children's pencils and I really like them. And um, yeah, here I'm drawing Finnegan again. Finnegan again. 
<laughs> and um, in his taco, um, taco, taco shop, taco business um, outfit. He has a little uh, food wagon. I don't know what it's called in English. Uh, why he sells his tacos. That's how Leslie meets him first. And um, I just love Finnegan. He's his name is Finlay Finnegan, if you're uh, curious. I really like him. He's just, I really like um, the whole idea behind his business and the way, like, he's he's just, he's a baby. I, I love him. He's, he's my baby. And yeah, I just, I just like drawing my OCs. It's like drawing fan art, but it's for yourself. Um, if you don't have original characters, I highly recommend you doing um creating some i i don't know it's just so much fun and in the middle of the page i'm drawing betsy who's also a character um in the comics and um, in the comic and she's a witch and she's a long-term uh, friend of leslie she also was friends with his sister and her husband and um, his sister's husband if that makes sense yeah um, Rosalind and Patrick and Leslie and Betsy were kind of a little friend group um, that Leslie's later partner kind of um, came to visit or, or came to join <laughs> last and um, originally it was just Betsy Leslie and Rosalind and um, yeah that was the crew <laughs> before the disaster struck and um, things went to shit. <laughs> and also um, Betsy is a witch and she earns her money with um, doing exorcisms, cleansing houses, doing tarot card readings and also like general future prediction stuff and she's really talented but she doesn't earn much money with her profession she lives in a kind of big house but um it's it's old and it's leaky and she doesn't really have the finances to renovate it it's the house of her family so um she doesn't want to leave it because it has so many memories and um, she feels like she cannot fail this task to take care of the house and yeah that's basically her story um, without spoiling too much she also has a um, entity living in the house um, it's a Maybe it's a poltergeist, maybe it's something else, we don't know. Um, it's a shadowy figure she calls um, Penelope, who she can hear talking and nobody else can, and who follows her around the house, but who doesn't leave the house. Um, Penelope basically stays there and um, she belongs to the property. <laughs> so, um, excuse me, I need to take a sip of water. Mm. So, yeah, what else can I tell you? Today was a weird day. Um, I went home, I walked home, I listened to music, imagined some imaginary <laughs> scenarios with my OCs. When I listen to music, it's, that's what I usually do. And um, I came across a swan, a swan, <laughs> a swan, and... Um, I walk, I walk, and my, my walk home is near a river, and it's not uncommon for a swan to be there, but that one didn't really move, and we called, we tried to call, um, we tried to call the, the animal rescue, but they wouldn't answer the phone, so some people and I, uh, so we called the local police station, and um, said, hey, here's a swan because this one wouldn't stand up like it would stand up a little bit and then lay down again like and i was like oh this this one is well i i'm i'm worried for this poor animal so we called the police <laughs> and asked them, not the like emergency hotline like the local police station and what should we do here's this one who doesn't stand up like who waddles and falls back on his butt and the policeman was like 
I can't, I could hear him yell to, to his colleague like, oh, it's starting again. And then he told me like this sworn, sworn, <laughs> I cannot, I cannot speak. This one uh, returns like every year, like he was there last year and he can walk. He's just a bit, uh, he has a disability. He's like an injured leg and cannot walk for a long time. And um he shouldn't worry and he would like be fine and um and as i noticed that um as i heard that i saw the swan like looking at some orange sli or orange slices on the ground and he was literally just guarding these orange slices um so nobody would take them from him and so he could eat them and that's why he was like that far on the on the pathway where like the benches are and stuff there were no cars also like just um for pedestrians and um bikers and so i was like okay i i, I see you guy um he just was like trying to eat these orange slices <laughs> And um, the policeman basically told me, just leave him there and um, he's going to be fine because they went there before and he was fine. He was just walking back to the water and then swimming away. He's fine swimming like in the water, but like he just cannot walk very far was basically that. So that was that. That was fun. <laughs> I was like, OK, sorry. For bothering you <laughs> so yeah we had left the swan there and he was okay i guess so yeah um last drawing on this spread is my character phil and phil is a um he's an agent and he works for an agency who basically handles everything like a police force would and um, they take care of everything like immigrants <laughs> like Jane uh, from other dimensions they call them stranded people um, who are stranded there and cannot go back or doesn't want don't want to go back for any reason at all and um, he also takes care of hazardous situations like the one in the first chapter where Jane spits out this monster and um, that wrecks Leslie's car and um, He's, he's, he's for that and he also um, handles the situation where um, Jane has to give blood to test it to see what kind of disease causes her to spit out monsters basically and yeah that's what he's um, and he's a demon um, they call them demons they're not literally from from hell because that place doesn't really exist in that universe or like they call them that um, he has like shadowy powers and stuff like that and fiery powers and um, he has also very red eyes which is why he always um, wears sunglasses because they are very sensitive to sunlight and he doesn't want to scare people as well because these red glowing kind of eyes are sometimes irritating to people so Phil um, Detective Philip Ian Hawthorne always wears his glasses <laughs> when he's at work and stuff and here I'm going in again um, with one of the water-based markers they're watercolor markers that you can also use as um, regular felt tip pens I bought them at action I think one time when we visit visited our store that's around an hour drive away <laughs> but we don't have uh, any action store that's closer so yeah that's fine and yeah that's almost the spread i think it took me about 40 minutes in general i put in some cuts here because sometimes you couldn't really see what i'm doing because my hand was in the way so if i'm trying to um trying to get this angle again i will definitely definitely try out the other side of my my chair to put um the camera so you can see way better what i'm doing um, i just wanted to try and stray away a bit from the overhead view because it kind of gets old after a while and also i wanted to um, wanted the camera to be a bit closer to my art so you could see better but like I my head was in the way so yeah 
It's fine. It's fine. I learned from it. So here you see the whole spread again. And um, yeah, that's that. That's the video and that's the sketchbook spread. I hope you had um, some fun listening to me ramble and watching me draw some of my OCs. And um, have a great rest of the week and we see each other next time. And until we see each other, please do something that makes you happy. Bye!